Hi everybody, it's Miss Celeste from the library again. Today I'm going to read to you a book by National Geographic, Cats vs. Dogs. So many of you have come into the library in the past wanting to find out more information about your pets. So hopefully this will be a fun book for you. So we start out, we'll skip over the table of contents. So Cats vs. Dogs. Dogs and cats are the most popular pets in the world. Some people think dogs are our finest friends and others believe cats are the perfect pets. Find out which animal has the smoothest moves, the best hearing, and can do the smartest tricks. No matter who your favorite is, one thing is certain, fur will fly in this battle of the pets. So who has the scariest relatives? Dogs and cats may seem like opposites. That's because they have a very different family trees. Millions of years ago, a fox-like predator prowled the plains hunting for meat. This animal called UC Oda VC, so I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but here's your spelling. He was an early relative of the canines we see today. So this this looks down here looks shows you what he looked like back then. Okay, wolves, coyotes, jackals, and dogs are all related to this ancestor. Ancestor. So this is your wolf, your coyote, and then your jackal. These animals hunt and live in packs in the woods. So what is a canine? So over here we see pet words, canine. Canine is a group of meat-eating mammals that include the domestic dog, wolf, fox, jackal, and coyote. What's a predator? Predator is an animal that hunts other animals for food. And what does it mean to be domesticated? Domesticated is the condition of an animal changed from being wild to living closely with humans. So that would be your dog or your cat, okay? So up here is a fun joke. You, can, you can't see the answer, but I'll give it to you. It is, what is the only kind of dog you can eat? A hot dog. <laughs> All right. So now we go to cats. All cats, from the mighty tiger to the common house cat, evolved from a small cat-like creature that lived 12 million years ago. This animal is called Feliz Atica. So again, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but there's your spelling. Later... The feline family split into two groups. One group evolved into smaller cats like over here Puma, Lynx, and the house cat. And the other, to your far right, evolved into uh, big cats like tigers, lions, and leopards. Big cats are some of the world's most fearsome predators. In a head-to-head -head battle, a wolf will be no match for a lion or a tiger. That's, that's really interesting. Now look over here, weird but true. Big cats, like lions, tigers, and jaguars, can't purr like small cats do. And we know that when we go to the zoo, we hear them roaring versus purring. So evolve. What does evolve mean? Evolve means to change or develop naturally over long periods of time. And feline is a group of meat-eating mammals that include the domestic cat, lion, tiger, lynx, and cheetah. Okay? And now we come to the next question. Whose nose knows best? Dogs and cats have super sensing powers that have been passed down from their ancestors. Powerful senses that help them survive. Sniff, sniff, the dog smells the air. It gets a lot more information from a whiff than we do. Dogs have 220 million scent cells. That's twice as many as cats and 40 times more than humans. So right here, what you'll see down here, some dog breeds can sniff out mold, insects, drugs, and even cancer. Now that's a knowing nose. So here you see a dog that's at the airport and he's probably sniffing for something that might be in the luggage, okay? So what is a cell? The basic building block of a living plant. Large plants and animals can make up trillions of 12, of cells, excuse me. So which nose knows best? The winner would be dogs. They have more cells for smelling. So who's got an ear for everything? So a mouse scurries through a hole in the wall. A human may not have heard a sound, but a passing cat already, always, probably did, excuse me. Humans can hear up to 20,000 hertz, which is a measurement of how high or low pitched a sound here, as indicated here. Dogs can hear twice that, um, but cats hearing is king, so they are the winner. They can pick up an ear splitting 60,000 hertz, as shown down here. This means that cats can hear many sounds that humans and even dogs would never notice. So again, dogs have 40,000 and we have 20,000. The cats are the winner here. So diet, who serves up supper? So house cats are deadly hunters. Sometimes cats owners will open their front door and find a surprise, a dead animal. Cats often bring home gifts to their owners like birds, lizards, or mice that they've killed. You might have preferred a pizza, but your cat is just following its instincts. 
Dogs may bring home the newspaper, but cats bring home dinner fit for a feline. So the winner here would be cats. Instinct is, um, as indicated down here under words, behavior that animals are born knowing how to do, that the cat is born knowing how to hunt like that. So who's a pickier eater? Dogs and cats usually eat pet food that's specially made for them. In the wild, cats are carnivores. They eat meat. That's what carnivore meat means. Cats need five times more protein than dogs. Dogs are carnivores too, but pooches aren't as picky. In the wild, dogs and wolves sometimes snack on plant matter like grass and fruit. Okay, so the winner here who's a pickier eater would be a cat. And up here is a fun joke that says, what do cats eat for breakfast? And you can't see it, but it says mice krispies. Instead of rice krispies, mice krispies. So that's funny. Okay, communication. Who is a tattletale? So both cats and dogs show how they're feeling with their tail. When cats hold their tail straight up, they're happy to see you. Twitchy cat tail means a cat is ready to pounce. Cats sweep their tails from side to side when they're feeling excited or aggressive. So happy dogs wag their tail from side to side around and around like a propeller. When dogs are scared, they tuck their tail between their legs. If dogs are unsure about something, they keep their tails low and wag them close to their bodies. Dogs hold their tails still and upright when they sense danger. That means trouble might be coming. So who's the best at telling more tails with their tails? Dogs have more ways of using their tails than communicate than cats. Down here you see a frightened dog who tucks its ears down and hunches its back to appear smaller. So that's, that's sad. So another fun joke, why can't a leopard hide? And you can't see the answer, but it says because it's always spotted. So we know that a leopard has spots. <laughs> okay, who's the chattiest? Dogs and cats don't use words, but they have a wide range of sounds to tell how they're feeling. So let's look at the dictionary here. Purr, if a kitten is purring, or that means, or a cat, the sound signals kitty happiness. It means a cat is feeling comfortable and safe. Meow, cats have different meows that say many things. Each sound can have a different meaning like feed me, pet me, or hey there, yow. Some cats make a long wailing sound to get the attention of their owners or other cats. And a hiss, this is the sound cats make when they're trying to defend themselves. They raise their upper lips to show their teeth and blow out a jet of air. So I would steer, steer clear of that. And growl the same thing. This low noise made in the back of a cat's throat means stay away. Dogs have a wide range of sounds to say. Uh, what's on their mind. Don't speak dog. <laughs> well, let's look at the dictionary and see what it says. Um, dogs are related to animals that live in packs. Communication is an important part of pack life. Dogs need to use these sounds frequently to chat with other pooches or their owners. Okay, so wolves how to communicate with pack members or to give warnings. And a pack again is a group of canines that lives and hunts together. From the dictionary we know that whine means puppies give this high pitched distress call if they're alone or hungry, it tells mom to come help. Adult dogs whine to express pain or fear. Yip. Dogs make the sound when feeling playful or where they want attention. Bark. Dogs bark when they're bored, excited, or trying to find other dogs. They, they also use the sound to warn of strangers approaching. Howl. Dogs howl when they are lonely or to make contact with family members. And growl. When dogs make the sound with their ears held back, they're usually tense or angry. So the winner would be dogs. So 10 good things about dogs and cats. So number one, a tiger can take down a 600 pound deer with a deadly bite to the throat. It's pretty scary. When domestic cats hunt mice, about one in three pounds is results in a catch. So they get them usually. Dogs can drink muddy water and eat rotten meat or garbage without getting sick. Chemicals in a dog's stomach kill the germs. Lions are the only cats that live in height in large groups, as shown down here. Number five, dogs have six puppies per litter on average, but large breeds can have as many as 12 puppies. Up here at six, a wolf can wolf down 20 pounds of meat in one sitting. Seven, when a cat grooms itself, it removes dead hair and skin. Grooming also spreads the cat's scent and feels, makes it feel relaxed. Eight, with their keen hearing ability, cats can tell when disasters like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are about to occur. That's amazing. Nine, a border collie named Betsy understands more than 340 spoken words. Betsy learns words as quickly as a small child. That's amazing. And 10, oh wow, look how big this dog is. 
A great Dane named George holds the record as the tallest dog. He's standing on his hind legs. He's over seven feet tall from head to tail. Wow. Behavior. Who's the biggest sleepyhead? Dogs sleep 12 hours a day on average. Older dogs or puppies might sleep more. Working breeds like boxers and collies don't need as much shut-eye. Cats sleep about 18 hours a day, but unlike humans, cats sleep lightly, waking up every several minutes. That's where the term catnap comes from. So the winner would be cats. So another joke up here. What do you say when a cat wakes up? And you can't see the answer, but it says cats up, <laughs> like ketchup. <laughs> Okay, who's the cleanest? Cats spend over half their time licking themselves. A cat's tongue is rough like sandpaper. It's covered with backward-facing spines that turn the tongue into a mini brush like you see here. And dogs lick themselves too, but much less often than cats. Dogs' smooth tongue lack the spines that make cats' tongues a great grooming tool. That's why dogs can use a little help from their owners to get cleaner. So the winner would be, of course, cats. Who's the most athletic? Cats are great climbers, as you see here. They love to perch in trees, refrigerators, and even on rooftops. They can jump long distances and almost always land on their feet. Still, when it comes to the distance, dogs are hard to beat. Some breeds are able to run and work all day. Sled dogs in the famous Idlerod race run 1,110 miles through the Alaskan wilderness. It's amazing. Both dogs and cats are capable of outstanding physical feats. They just have different talents, so the winner is a tie. Who's the most social? Looks like dogs are. Most dogs like to hang out with other dogs. This trait was passed down from wolves, which lived in packs, as we saw earlier. Many dog owners take their dogs to places where they can have active social lives. Most cats are loners. In order to get along, they usually have to be raised together. Cats might like to cuddle with their favorite human, human excuse me, but they leave the pet parties to the dogs. Okay? Who comes in the greatest number of shapes and sizes? Cats haven't changed much from their wild ancestors. Scientists think cats started living with humans about 9,000 years ago. Cats were used for catching pests that raided food supplies. Today, there are about 80 breeds of cats. The biggest difference among cat breeds is the length, color, and feel of their coats. As you see over here, the different types of cats. And dogs, okay. More than 15,000 years ago, humans and wolves started living together side by side. Eventually, dogs tamed the pups into the world's first domestic animal, the dog. So the winner would be dogs. And over the year, people have bred dogs for tasks like guard, guarding, herding, and companionship. The result, dogs of all different sizes and shapes. There are more than 400 dog breeds recognized around the world. And who's the smartest? Sit, stay, roll over. Most dog owners know it's easy to train pups to do tricks. Dogs' brains are wired for obeying a pack leader, so they're happy to listen to their human master's commands. Dogs can be trained to do all sorts of tasks. They can serve as guide dogs for people who can't see. They can help search for lost people after a disaster. Some dogs even help police officers catch criminals, as we see here. Tell a cat to sit and it will likely give you a look that says, I don't think so. <laughs> Some cat owners believe the cats are too smart to take orders from a human. While dogs have a natural drive to please a leader, cats generally do not. But they can still be trained to do tricks. Using tasty food rewards, experienced trainers can make cats jump through hoops, fetch dogs, and give high fives. So the winner is, it's true. Cats can learn to use a toilet instead of a litter box and flush afterwards. That's amazing. So who's the perfect pet? That's up to you. The winner is a tie. So which animal makes the best pets? Dogs and cats have different traits. They've developed over thousands of years. Your dog might chew up your favorite pair of shoes. Your cat might ignore you when you call its name. But most cats and dogs love their owners, even when they're not on their best behavior. When a cat curls up in your lap or a dog gives you a sloppy lick of affection, you know who the perfect pet. Whichever one is, you own. I hope you like that story. See you later.